So I want to tell you a little story. Just want to, you know, give you a little insight into what it's like to deal with ADHD, OCD, and autistic spectrum. And I'm going to do that using a manual focus lens from 1966. <music> because it will illustrate what we go through. Now, I'm using the onboard microphone. I don't know if the audio is gonna be any good, but I kinda wanna just talk about things that I go through and I know other people go through on this spectrum. And I think one of the reasons a lot of people don't get, go to the testing, which I tried this year, I tried four times and they canceled on me four times. <laughs> um, <laughs> what kind of we go through we seem normal for maybe a while and then all of a sudden something doesn't we don't understand anything and all of a sudden we're we're out of focus right and i'm shooting this wide open if that means anything to anybody like the, the, the lowest aperture i can shoot on because i don't want this to even be totally in focus as it is so not only am i going to have shitty audio i <laughs> I'm gonna have a shitty video too, so I don't even know if anybody made it this far, but I wanna talk about some of the things that we might go through. And I'm gonna illustrate that, like, for example, I have read, uh, you know, about Jesus many, 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 many times. I went to Catholic school, I've read the books, I got threatened with Jesus and, and God over the years if I didn't do my homework correctly. But one of the things that I used to read is, like, he would cure somebody of something and then he would tell them not to go tell somebody anything. Or like, I think his name was Zachariah, um, you know, and his wife, and they had uh, John the Baptist, right? And, and the, the angel Gabriel, I think it was, told Zachariah, I think that's what his name was, that he was going to have a child, but meanwhile, he and his wife were like in their 80s or 90s or something like that. And so he started speaking doubt out into it, and he was made, so he was made deaf, not deaf. He was made dumb and mute. So he couldn't talk and he couldn't speak out into the world things that he didn't want to happen. And it just, I just figured out this stuff two days ago, like, or this year, that the reason he did this was because if these people who got cured, they went into the city or wherever they go and they started telling people about the fact that they were cured, people would start putting doubt into their mind and they might instantly revert back to the way they were and it took this many years 44 years for me to figure this out instead of just reading this stuff or like I'll be texting with somebody and it might go great for months and all of a sudden something will happen and I'm I start not understanding things and then it starts getting weird so I'll start pushing people away because I'm like here we go again this is happening again I can't seem to ever just have a normal conversation with anybody without this out of focus thing. You know, like let me stand way back here, guarantee probably not in focus right now, but you can see that I'm here. You can see that I exist. And you can see the words and you can see, you know the meaning of the words, but like what happens to the words when you read them is confusing to me. Not, not, maybe not everybody on the spectrum has this, you know, it, it's, it's weird too, because like, I am extremely intelligent. I read and I don't forget much of things <laughs> like or I hear and I don't forget many things or like math, I can see things and just solve it. But simple things like understanding a conversation like is, is sometimes doesn't happen for me, right? And it confuses others because I might have a conversation with you for a long time and all of a sudden something doesn't click with me and I think you're attacking me or something like that because I revert back to, and I, you know, I'm speaking of myself, but I think a lot of other people go th through this. But what do you do about it? I don't know. I, I, you know, I don't know the answer to the, to, the, to the problem right here. What do you do with these issues? What do you do? Like, how, who do you find? Who do you talk to? And that's why I think a lot of us are, are fairly loners because, and we don't do it intentionally, but we alienate ourselves because what, is the, what do you think the timing is, is me putting my hand out and getting hit by an acorn? I mean, what are the odds of the time? Um, 
but we don't we don't do this stuff on purpose it just happens and so we we just I, at least i do i start pushing people away because i don't want to put them through it i like i feel bad like i'm like i don't i have to deal with this but you shouldn't have to deal with this then and then you get people that come into your life and they know that you're like this so they take advantage of it you know they take advantage of it as, as hard as they can because you know maybe nobody else really maybe they got a personality that really doesn't do well for them or whatever and so they'll start taking advantage of you and it's it's it's, it's just crazy so if you if you have something like this, if you deal with this at any level, or if you're dealing with somebody who has this, know that they're not doing any of this on purpose. I don't think, I don't know anybody who would do this on purpose. Purposely start drama or arguments or, or something that don't really exist, but like in your mind they do. Like in your mind, your mind's like, oh, this is, this person, you know, like, I don't know if you guys can hear this. Uh, this person's trying to do this to me, and if I look sweaty, it's because I am. It's like 9,000% humidity out here. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the solution is. I really don't know what the solution is, but it is a lot to deal with. It is a lot to deal with. And I feel for all of us who have that, largely because like, even the people who have gotten diagnosed with like autistic spectrum or ADHD or OCD, there's like nothing to do with it at all like what, what do you do with it you know so it's great you got diagnosed with it but what do you do from there you know like what do you actually do with that because there's nothing to really be done with it at all other than hopefully you can find people that understand that this is what's happening and maybe they have it a little I, th I find that people who have it a little can really understand each other a lot more they 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 meld really good together and somebody who's you know normal whatever that means is not going to understand you and it's going to cause probably a lot of friction and th here we go we're out of focus again like you can see that i'm here you can hear my words but you can't always understand and like i can't understand where they're coming from and they can't understand where I'm coming from. Now this does do really good at funerals because you just don't give a shit that somebody died. Or you do, like it's one or the other. Like it's way too much and you think about it all the time or you just don't care at all. Like there's there's like no happy, happy medium. And that's another thing at least I deal with and I think a lot of people who have this deal with is you are either, you either love something or you can't stand it. There is absolutely no gray area with us at all and so this again alienates you because you can't you know i mean i can i can i can relate to a lot of people which is good uh because i keep things at like acquaintance level once it crosses over into friend level and there's more conversation that is when things get weird and it's so excruciatingly frustrating for me because i see it happening I'll see it happening before it happens. And maybe that's the reason it happens. I don't know. If you deal with this, or if you're dealing with somebody who is dealing with this, know that this is, is what they're dealing with, right? This is like, they can see you, they can hear you, but this is the focus. I don't even know if I'm in focus over here because there's a screen, but it's like, I don't know. I don't know what to do with it. I mean, you, you put on top of the fact that I'm a Leo, you put on top of the fact that I'm Irish and Slovak, stubborn ass people, weird ass people. I mean, uh, there's books written on how weird the Irish are. And then you get somebody that's Irish and also has these things. It's like, it's fun to watch. And this is why most of my life, I've had people that just want to have me around for entertainment, which doesn't feel great. But I don't blame them either because like, I don't even know what's gonna come out of me next. You know, like, I, I don't even know. And so, like, so if you deal with this, no, I mean, I hate that saying like, know that you're not alone, because what the hell does that do? Like, what does that really do for anybody? Like, know that you're not alone. I think it's about to rain again. See this? You get like sidetracked, distracted easily. But we think about things all the time. Like overthinking is insane. Overthinking is absolutely insane. 
and so it'll it'll paralyze the person uh, because they can't get <laughs> what just happened again what just happened to me again like what did I do what did I do what did I do what did I do and then there's frustration because like how did I do this again I don't know that's that's my video I, unfortunately like I would like a lot of my videos I would love to have a conclusion at the end of the video like this is what you do uh, and maybe there is that I, I know there's like tactile things you can get stuff you know to like uh, work with your hands there's this noise on the, the internet I don't know if I still have it but I can't believe oh shit I don't have internet on here but I can't believe and here again here's here here I am out of focus right this is what it's like to live sometimes with this you're living life out of focus but see here's the thing everybody else can see you everybody else can hear you everybody else sees that you're there but you're out of focus or they're out of focus and this is the best way I can illustrate it but there is a noise like that warning noise that eh, like if, when that's on you can actually focus <sighs> Hopefully I made any sense in this video at all. Hopefully, I think this video is more for people who are dealing with somebody who has this than the person who actually has it. I don't, hopefully you can hear that, all this. Ho you know, hopefully, like I've made other videos before about like what fat people go through and what, you know, like what men go through as far as being fat and how they feel and why they have certain personality traits. But this, is why I'm making this video so maybe you can understand um, why exactly this person's behaving like this and it does take a special breed to, to try and deal with us but make sure that that special breed and hopefully I'm actually in focus at all hopefully uh, make sure that that special breed actually has your best interest at heart and isn't trying to use the situation. Let me let me stop this thing down. See what it looks like. All the way down. Down to 11. Let's see what that looks like. Might be in focus no matter where I go now. Anyway, I wanted to conclude this video because. But seriously, this is this is what we're dealing with. It sucks. It sucks to watch. It sucks to know that you just hurt somebody else's feelings. It sucks to know that. It sounds like you're trying to create drama, but you're not. You have mental drama going on in your head. And it's not something that you go, you know, like meet somebody like, hey, nice, nice to meet you. I have, um, I have ADHD or autistic spectrum. Do you want to go on a date? <laughs> like, you know, like, who's doing that? You know, like, this is, this is the focus that we're at, right? Uh, it's just ridiculous. Stop it down all the way down. I don't know what this is going to look like. It's probably going to barely see me. So what do you do with this situation? I really don't know. But it is nice to know, you know, that this is what they're going through. And it's not that they absolutely can't stand you. It's just the way they're wired. It's kind of like if you've got a car and you got windshield wipers on the car, but for whatever reason, they're wired to like your parking brake. And every time you go to use, and you might not even know this. See, here's another thing. This is a great analogy, I don't even know it. Because you may live in the desert. You may live in the, de <laughs> this is a great analogy. This is perfect. You may live out in the desert, you never get rain. One time you get rain. You go to put on your windshield wipers and your parking brake goes on and you your car stops all of a sudden. That is what it's like to deal with this. <laughs> it's like this weird wiring that you may not even know you had. It may take forever. You may live in the desert, like I said, and, and see rain like once every other year. But you hit that, that windshield wiper and all of a sudden the brakes go on and you're like, what just happened? What just happened? So anyway, that is, if you're on the outside of this, looking in, it should be in focus. That is what we're dealing with. Hopefully you can hear me. Hopefully the audio is good. 
somewhat. Um, I've, I've recently dealt with this situation yet again, and it really sucks. It really sucks. It just blows. What can you do? Anyway, that's the video. Comments, questions down below. Like, subscribe. We'll talk to you in the next one. Peace. Can you see it? Okay, so as you can tell, I've got like leaves on me and, and everything. It did rain. <laughs> it did rain. So uh, hopefully the ZVE-1 can handle the rain that it got. But anyways, yeah, hopefully this video helped people because I may have ruined a $2,500 camera making this video. Uh, yeah, anyway. Hopefully that helps share the video, seeing how I just monsooned a camera. And I'll talk to you in the next one.